Hi and welcome to the fourth part of this series. We will be flashing from Honeystreak R2 to Honeystreak R7, which is the custom kernel developed by DJ Steve. And you can find out more information about this on tabletroms.com. So the first thing we're going to be doing with uh, our Honeycomb Dell Streak 7 now turned on is we're going to be plugging it into the computer. And as you can hear, you'll see the Dell Streak 7. Now this uses the MTP protocol which automatically connects to the computer and lets us see the drives internally. And as you can see, we see both drives. Now what we would be doing is we're going to be opening up our external card, and then we're going to be copying and pasting the Dell Streak 7 files that BJ Steve's developed. And you can see I have R7 here. So what I would be doing is I'd be copying and pasting it into it. As you can see, I already put it here. And you're also going to want your install.txt which has options for the install that DJ Steve talks about on tabletroms.com. As you can see, I've told it for the Wi-Fi edition, no swipe using 120 DPI on the US model. And again, I copied and pasted that into the file. And as you can see, it's installed there and there. And that is all you need to do is once you copy and paste it over, then you're going to reboot your device into clockwork mode and I will show you that in the next segment of this video. Thank you. Hi and welcome to the next part of this video. With our Dell Streak 7 off, we are going to be pressing the plus volume up and the power at the same time and pressing and holding until you see the management screen pull up. So we're going to press and turn on. As you can see, I'm doing that. And we'll see the screen starting to come up here. Just keep pressing and holding. That's what I tend to do. And as you can see, we now see the screen. We're going to go down to the second option there, which is software upgrade via upgrade package. We're going to use the volume down button to go to it. And then we are going to be pressing the power button to select. As you can see, it's going to be coming up here. And there we go. There is Clockwork Mod. Now we're going to be going down to Apply Update from SD Card. And again, we're going to use the Power button to select. And then we're going to select External SD Card. And now we are going to be selecting install zip from SD card and press the power button to select it. Then we're going to go down to choose zip from SD card, select external storage. And there we will see the SDR7 zip. And all you do is select it. Say yes, you want to install it. And there it will go. And upon its completion, all you do is reboot the device. And it should take a while to boot up, and we will show that in the next segment of it coming up. And as you can see here, we are finally up. And of course, there's the swipe there, it's not a big deal. And there you go, we are up to version R7. Thank you.